Oh gosh, okay. You're gonna cry. Okay, Clara. Today is the day that we decide on forever. I know that you have been dreaming about this day since you were a little girl. I see that little girl in you all the time. She's wrapped this day up in a nice bow and ribbon and has been waiting to open it for some time now. Well, that moment has finally arrived and the only thing in the world that I want to be is that man that you envision standing by your side. What you may not know is that I've been daydreaming about you since I was a little boy. I remember picturing my life in my head when I was much younger and every time it got to me, having a family of my own, I would think about what I wanted my wife to be like. I think mostly I wanted her to be my friend. You are that daydream I had so long ago, all the time in my head. You fill my life with joy that has only deepened and strengthened the more I get to know you and fall in love with you. It's you and me from here on out. We are a family now. I love you. I love you, Clara Dia Kruger. I will always love you. Knowing I will always have you by my side makes my soul shine and my heart smile. Love your soon-to-be husband, Lindsay. He always nails it. <laughs> forget the next day after Clara met Lindsay she came over to my house and she was gushing she started talking about Lindsay's seemingly endless accolades literally five minutes later I received a text message hey Jacqueline it's Lindsay thanks for introducing me to Clara could you send me her number I'd like to ask her out if it's okay with you <laughs> One thing that I learned over time about Lindsay is his genuine goodness. The way he deeply cares about whether it's his family or his teammates or his friends. You are so deeply passionate about everything that you do. So I knew you would always give Clara your best self. That was the reason why I gave you her number. Clara. For the past five years, life has been one big long carousel ride of coming home and leaving again. Joyous hellos and tearful goodbyes. Throughout that, I've learned to appreciate the time that we do have together. A cup of coffee over the breakfast table, seeing your face after a long day away from each other, or simply going for a walk and having your hand to hold. I promise to never let our lives get so busy that I don't take time to constantly remind you that you're my best friend, that every inch of you is beautiful, including your soul, and that you are deeply loved. I promise to always work for your betterment and to build you up so that your faith and love is continually strengthened. I vow to never give up. I know it's the cliche of all cliches because I know that this is going to be anything but easy. But I also know that if we're both all in, it's going to be worth it. Love is at least just as much of an action as it is a feeling. Choosing to never give up is the precursor for our great adventure. As we grow older together and life's inevitable storms cloud our skies from time to time, we will look back and we will reminisce on this day when we stood before God and all these people that care about us to decide on forever. And in those moments, we will know that we'll be okay because we were the types of people that decided long ago that we were never going to give up on each other as we stumbled together hand in hand towards God's grace and love.
talk about Clara is <laughs> since the moment she came into our lives, she has just been the absolute light of our lives. She is the most sweet, loving, caring, just unbelievable daughter that one could ever ask for. Come in close, don't let me go. When Clara loves you, it is fierce. A little intimidating, but powerful. Worth it. She takes great pride in who she loves. As we stand here today and make vows to one another for the rest of our lives, I want you to know that I see you. I see you for who you are today and for who you have yet to become. For the man that I see today is one who I know will be the strongest partner in life, a loving and selfless father to our children, and my rock for all of the days to come. Lindsay Robert, I love all of you. Your heart has shown me what love really is, not just the warm, fuzzy feeling, but the unwavering, resilient love that overcomes life's challenges and tribulations. The world can be cruel, a storm can come through and shake our foundation, and God can make other plans for us while we are busy making our own. But I love you, and I love you because no matter what life throws our way, your heart will love me the same. I love you because you make simple what I try to complicate, and you never make me feel inadequate for my shortcomings. I promise to always be faithful and to fight for you daily. I vow to respect you and to pray for you. I promise to slay the pieces of me that are selfish and prideful for freedom to love you more. I promise to build you up and to keep you humble, and I vow to pray for the wisdom for when to know the difference. I promise to weather seasons with you, to help us find the perfect balance between living for the future and for the present so that we may never look back at our lives and wish for something different. I promise to show you with my words and my actions how much I adore every single part of you and to prove to you that you are and always will be enough. I vow to have a heart that is ready to ask for forgiveness and one that is ready to forgive. Lindsay, I without hesitation take you as my husband to have and to hold better or for worse, I promise to love and cherish you it's for the rest of our days.